I went no contact with my dying dad because his last wish was to be intimate with me. Now my brother is blaming me for his demise. My 41F dad, 63, has cancer. This is his second time fighting and treatment hasn't been very helpful. My siblings and I have been visiting my dad more since it's looking like his condition won't improve. He's beginning to be more frail, but still fit enough to get around all right. A week ago I was alone with my father and we were watching TV in the living room. I said to him if there's anything off of his bucket list he hasn't done yet, we'd be willing to help make it happen. He said thanks and we went on with our evening. I came back two days later and we were cooking dinner and waiting for my brothers to swing by. He said he had been thinking of what I said and he knew something he wanted to do but was afraid to ask me. I told him it's fine to just ask. I honestly thought he was going to ask for expensive tickets or something. He said he's always had thoughts about me and since he's not going to be around for a while longer he wanted to be intimate with me. I was stunned. When he saw that I wasn't happy he started apologizing and saying he shouldn't have said anything. He said he didn't want it to impact our relationship. I felt nauseous so I stopped what I was doing and left. When I got home my brothers started texting me asking where I went and what was wrong with dad. I just couldn't think of anything to say so I ignored them. I've had a family members reaching out and finally told one of my brothers I never wanted to talk to dad again. They are begging for me to talk about what happened and telling me how distressed dad is. My dad has always been one of my favorite people. He raised us by himself and provided for us and my siblings. But this admission is something I wish he would have have taken to the grave. This had me wondering when he started having these thoughts about me. I've been rethinking every hug, every gift, every compliment he's ever given me. I've been physically sick over this and my girlfriend is concerned about me. I've called out of work the past few days and I can't handle all of the pressure and disgust I'm experiencing. I have been going to therapy for years and I canceled my last appointment because I couldn't handle saying out loud what he said. My girlfriend is telling me to let my brothers know, but I don't want my dad to be alone as much as I hate him right now. I am stuck and have to go back to work tomorrow and I'm just not ready. Edit. To everyone asking, no my father has not been checked for a brain tumor. I'll bring this up with my bro when we talk next. Relevant comment. I think you need to tell his doctor. The cancer could have spread and his mental capacity may not be all there anymore. Did he seem fully lucid when he said that to you? Opie. I believe my dad was completely lucid. Nothing leads me to believe his mental capacity is anything but normal. And he also admitted to having these thoughts about me for years. Update. I want to say thank you to everyone who took the time to read my post. This has been a very difficult time for me and seeing what everyone said has helped give me a clear mind. To simplify things, older brother will be OB and my little brother will be LB. Yesterday I asked OB to meet up at a restaurant for lunch. I wanted somewhere public so if something went wrong there would be witnesses. It was really difficult but I told OB what dad said. He was quiet for a long time and didn't talk much. I gave him details that I wasn't comfortable discussing in my original post. He asked why I didn't say anything right away. I mentioned that he and dad have always been so close and I felt like I was jeopardizing their relationship. Obi said that while he doesn't understand what exactly happened and believes me, but that it doesn't sound like our father. I agreed that it was out of character but because of the way everything happened, I felt in my heart that he knew what he was saying to me. He asked if we could bring LB into the discussion. I agreed and last night we got together at Obi's. When we told my LB he was very upset. He has a three years old daughter and was very concerned about her safety. I also made sure to mention what some people said about a possible brain tumor slash cancer. Obi said he'll mention it to dad's doctor since he's the one managing his medical care. So for now they both understand why I'm not going to talk to dad. I also said I understand if either of them decide to keep in contact with him and I wouldn't hold it against them. If anything else notable happens I will post another update. But for now I'm just so happy they were both understanding. Update 2. This is a small update for anyone still interested. My father's illness has progressed very fast and he is currently in hospice and is no longer lucid. I decided with my girlfriend's encouragement that I should visit my father one last time. I sat with him for 30 minutes and vented all of my frustrations to him. How I was so disappointed that he would proposition me. How I felt betrayed and that I still loved him but he ruined my image of him. I said some more private things to him that I'd rather not share. But it was very cathartic and I'm proud of myself for confronting him even if he may not no longer have the ability to hear me or understand my words. Maybe that makes me a coward in some ways but this felt like I got the final word. My OB is pretty crushed by this entire incident. He apparently tried talking to my dad about it but he doubled down and said it was a mistake and he didn't mean it. LB also decided to cut contact. He's visited him in hospice to say goodbye as well but dad was still lucid. I don't think I necessarily found closure but it was a step towards healing. Dad could pass any time now. Doctors say less than a week. Update 3. My dad died mid-April and I've been processing everything with my therapist and family. There was no funeral. Just went straight ahead for cremation after a quick viewing for any friends of the family. There's been some tension between my older brother and I. 
Initially, OB was accepting and supportive of my choice to go no contact after I told him about the situation with Dad. But as more time has passed, he's become resentful of me. He and I got in a huge argument a few nights ago and he blamed me for Dad's quick deterioration. He thinks that, because I cut him off, the stress accelerated the progression. I don't necessarily disagree that it might have contributed, but I also don't believe it's my fault. Dad made the choice to ask me to have intimacy with him. Dad decided after his diagnosis was the perfect time to ask me for something unforgivable, while I was more vulnerable and more willing to do things for him. I know time is required to heal these wounds, but I've decided to go low contact with him. My younger brother is completely on my side and is just as frustrated with my brother. Logically, I understand what he's feeling. My dad was his best friend. They were together nearly every day and he has never had to live a life without our father. But LB and I are in pain too and I wish he could understand. I don't know where to go from here. I just know posting on the sub in the past gave me alternative perspectives and some good advice. Relevant comments. You and LB get some grief therapy and ignore your older brother. Opie. I've been in counseling for years. For unrelated reasons. My therapist has been wonderful helping me through this and I also have the support of my girlfriend. My younger brother is more hesitant but his wife is trying to encourage him to join me for a session. Comment. Be careful. Your older brother is showing signs that he didn't fall too far from the tree. Keep your peace and build your own family who won't go weirdo on you first chance they get. Also if your older brother has children of his own, someone needs to keep an eye on them. Opie. My older brother and his wife are child free. Probably for the best. Date 4. Earlier this year, I wrote about the struggles my family has gone through regarding my father and brothers. My older brother, OB, and I have been no contact since the end of July. In summary, he has decided to blame me for my father's quick deterioration after I cut dad off when he tried to ask me for inappropriate favors. Being no contact with OB has been hard, and I can't help but feel betrayed. OB has decided that I have made up or exaggerated the situation with my dad and has declared our relationship over until I admit my lies. He and I were so close growing up, and seeing how everything has played out between us has been heartbreaking. My younger brother has gone back and forth between us and, at the moment, is choosing to stay neutral, which means to me he chooses OB. This has been especially hard for me because I was really close to his wife and daughter. In total, this situation has cost me my relationship with seven different family members. We spent Christmas with my girlfriend's family this year, and now we are considering moving to their area, about three hours away from where we live now. I feel like we could benefit from a fresh start. I'm so thankful that she has been there for me every step of the way in this process. I've held on to so much anger and hurt these past months. Being with my partner's family has been very healing. It has truly helped me realize that I deserve to be around people who believe in me and can love me unconditionally. I didn't mention this in my previous posts, but my dad's proposition reignited a lot of issues from previous trauma. Attending therapy has been incredibly helpful for me as I work through everything. If anyone out there is on the fence about visiting a therapist, please consider it. I was in therapy before this happened, but having my counselor work with me throughout this healing process has been invaluable. Also, talking her about this situation has been validating for me because I have a tendency to gaslight myself. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and has a good year ahead.